Hello, my fellow cloven hooves. I'm Mr. Church. Today we're going to be building inside a destroyed train car right here near Morgantown Station, just up the tracks. There's a stretch of track right here that's very flat, and that's going to be perfect for what we want to do. Now, some of you may know that when you try to build with a lot of the prefabs, for some reason they come on these concrete slabs because you know how we want to make a bunch of monoliths to APCs and prison cars and in in circus carts and a lot of times you know how you see those out in the world sitting on a concrete slab especially after an apocalypse well oh uh, what you don't see that huh that's interesting well that's so weird um hmm i must be uh, well, I'm sure I'm sure there's a good reason for these to be sitting on concrete slabs, even though it makes them look like fetid shit and makes them impossible and incredibly useless in every way to try to work with them. But no matter, because Kiki B found a workaround so that we can actually use some of these prefabs for once in our lives without looking like a buffoon who's spamming all the items we purchased from the Atom Shop on White Springs Green. And if that's you that does that, GG's sir, congratulations for all your purchases, making the world go round. Now, uh, we're going to be using this trick that Kiki B showed uh, how to shove stuff into the ground prefabs using doors so basically you place for this case we're going to place a prison door change it to any door that'll snap to a doorway and then we're going to work over to so we can't place this right here because of the track um, but if we use a full-sized catwalk we can snap over one foundation width place a uh, floor down here just delete all this stuff you can delete everything um and then what we're going to do is pick this up and we're going to lower this. And so uh, you can actually hold X and then use the R1 R, or L1 on Xbox. Those are the other special buttons um, on PC. I think you just use the mouse wheel and scroll. Uh, then switch it back, of course, to the train door, which will orient it in the right position. And then we can uh, snap the train back into position to that door um, and it'll snap to either the normal train door or the prison car uh, and I want to give a big shout out to Kiki B and I will link that video as well I've always wanted to do this to find a way to sync this down so it doesn't look like shit and I hadn't been able to so this is really helpful and it makes all things possible and the world go round uh, this is slightly sticking up, so I'm just going to adjust it a little bit more to do that. Switch it back to that doorway, and then I'm just going to lower this just a little bit again. Slightly, ever so slightly. Uh, bring this uh, floor back over this way. And uh, you'll probably want to leave build mode every once in a while. If you're building in free cam mode, it does start lagging. But if you leave build mode and go back in seems to fix that issue. I don't know if that happens on other platforms, but it definitely happens on PlayStation. Uh, so you're going to slap that back into place, just like you always dreamed of. Switch it back into a train door. Um, and then, of course, just what we did before, snap this back into place. And it will be a beautiful time, as always. Now, I want to build inside this train while it's broken, because while I do like how it looks, I think when it's destroyed, it looks awesome, much more awesome-y, in fact. And we're going to use a trick that we've used uh, before on the channel, uh, using floating filing cabinet trick. First, what we're going to do, though, is we have to make a floor out of carpets. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a carpet on another carpet, slightly using in here to measure uh, then you're going to drop merge the bottom most carpet and so basically uh, so in this case we have done three already and um, you're going to just jiggle around in free cam mode until everyone starts vomiting profusely and then you're going to grab the lowest possible one and you're going to put that on a pressure plate which has been depressed more than I've been and just snap it down twice uh, and then you're gonna come back in here I'm gonna 
you know, you can put it in a back corner so that you can measure easier. It doesn't matter which side you do it on. Um, and then if you have stick drift, it's even more fun to line it up side to side, uh, which is what I recommend. If you get a um, Astro Gaming Controller, uh, it's a guaranteed stick drift in about 20 minutes. And if that doesn't work, just play one video game with them and the joystick will go on its own, but don't worry. You can buy a new joystick for 20 bucks plus shipping and uh, replace it over and over again. It's a good investment, believe me. Now, <clears throat> just come in here and uh, again, just place the, what we have so far on top of slightly this one. What we're doing is we're building a floor inside here. Now, I wanna explain something. In this game, if you build on top of or inside of a structure and then that structure is destroyed, everything that gets its support from that structure will disappear, okay? So if you wanna build inside a prefab or on a broken prefab, um, you're gonna to have to do something special, uh, which I'm going to demonstrate using a couple of items uh, that are very specific to the game. Now, come back inside here, put it in whatever corner you didn't do already. It helps if you have a very keen ability to master free cam mode, as I'm demonstrating here. About 40 minutes later, you should be able to place down one item after the lag buffering stops. And then uh, you're just gonna come back out here, um, vomiting as you go because of the camera work you're going to pick up what you have so far, fly up into the outer space, um, and bounce off a comet, come back down, gently, gently does it, place this inside here, just like she said. Uh, well, let's just come on, yeah, see if the tracks are still there. They are. Good. And then um, uh, uh, place this over that one. Again, the way this is works is you're going to grab the, the lowest possible item and then you're going to be merging that upward into what you already have. Uh, you could really overthink something like this, so don't, don't freak out about it. Uh, just calm down and uh, just, uh, it's, it's okay. Okay? So pick it up. It'll be like two drop merges. Um, and it doesn't have to be perfect. This is just a platform for us to build on. So make it perfect, please. And uh, you can grab it, bring it back in. We're gonna keep doing this till we have the entire floor covered. And uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this whole floor thing that we made on top of one of the special items uh, that I mentioned. And that will allow us to build inside Make sure you grab the lowest most piece because everything's stacked, even though it doesn't look stacked. This is a stack of carpets. Um, and then this should be able, this should be able to cover the whole floor just so that we can build inside the whole thing when it's destroyed, which will become more obvious what I'm talking about in a bit. So pull it this way, pull it, come on, you can do it. And then just, well, you know, so listen, Free cam mode is good. It is really great. Um, but uh, I just, I think that they could have made it a little bit different in how you, for, for example, up and down are backwards what they should be because in every other aspect of build mode, the other side is up and the other side is down. If that makes any sense, like R2, L2, up and down are backwards uh, what they should be for moving items up and down. So that is uh, really confusing and I hope maybe they switch that. Otherwise, I really like free cam mode. It just takes some getting used to and it helps if you love throwing up constantly. And, you know, some people have to purchase Ipecac or uh, use the mustard trick, but for me, it's free to just hop into the game, just start jiggling up and down through time and space uh, bouncing off this, the walls of reality until I can find some semblance of inner peace. And so far, it's been working great, except for the fact that I haven't found any of the 
inner peace thing that I've been mentioning. But speaking of peaceful things that definitely will calm you down, I have been streaming a lot over on Twitch uh, four times a week. Uh, the link for that will be in the description if you want to drop me a follow and come hang out. I've been playing some Fallout 4. Uh, we're going to go to Nuka World soon, and that's going to be fun. Maybe I'll buy you a balloon. And uh, also, I've been doing some Grand Theft Auto in a RP server, which has been silly. I uh, might upload some clips from that in a moment once I remember how to make YouTube videos. I forgot. It's been a little while, I'll be honest. But let's face it, Papa needed a break to recharge his emotional batteries and to be charged with assault and battery. That didn't happen, but I thought it would be funny just because the words sounded similar, and then I realized, well, that joke could lead me in federal prison. So that was a humor, and please shut up about it for the rest of the time that we make this video thing, because uh, it was I was making it up as I go. Now, this is why some people say you should really script your videos. And I said, well, I could do that, or we could just scrap the videos, and then we don't have to worry about it to begin with. They said, that is an appealing idea. I think that you're onto something there. So that I didn't upload for about 66 days and 66 minutes um, and 6 cents. So, what we're doing now is I'm using these avocado modular sofas to build a pile uh, that we can place this on. So what you're seeing is it says it's outside the build area. It's also floating slightly uh, because the whole chunk of carpets is going to need something underneath it uh, if you want to place it up on something like that. And it can stretch out into the void. Uh, that's okay. Uh, but, you know, so I'm just going to make a temporary kind of like a floor of those sofas. And this is so that we can get the carpets to be supported by the sofa and the reason why is these modular sofas, along with filing cabinets, consoles, and some of the fences, they have a special property where they float. And uh, this will allow us to build inside a destroyed structure because they float. When you destroy the structure, they won't disappear. So if you build on top of the item that floats, nothing disappears, okay? So we, so I put this up on a carpet to guarantee that the sofa that gets the support of the whole thing will be one of these in this corner so that we won't be stuck with a modular sofa in the middle of our build, if that makes any sense. Um, putting it up slightly, just make sure that the carpet will snap to one of those instead of one of the random modular sofas that we have spread out across this way. Now we're going to drop merge it down until the modular sofa looks like it's sitting on the carpet when in reality according to the game the carpet is still sitting on the sofa technically so the support for all of this shit is going to be the sofa but it will look like it's all sitting on the carpets if that makes any sense it will if it doesn't make sense now in a few days once you've completed your uh astrophysics degree and uh, have been able to discuss the deeper meanings of life with your family okay so just drop merge that down and uh, this is one of my favorite tricks because it allows us to build in uh, certain areas that we wouldn't be able to otherwise and it allows us to utilize the very cool destroyed textures that a lot of the prefabs have and I've used this in several other builds um, which I will link in the description if you're interested in seeing what else you can do with this trick because it's very cool and awesome. So just jiggle this around until you get everything to turn green. And in this case, green means you can place it down. So go ahead and do that. It's going to be a real treat. Okay, now we have that. And I'll demonstrate when we destroy this uh, train car how beautiful the texture is and why I want to build in it so much. See how it's kind of like prison-y, given that it's a prison car? When I blow it up, besides abstaining much damage and radiation burns, uh, we get these massive blowholes in the sides, uh, which will be very cool for a design feature. Now, we can actually just get rid of this and put it back in later. Don't panic. 
um, because when you destroy the carpet, um, all those all those carpets, when you destroy the uh, sofa, all the carpets disappear because they're sitting on the chair. So that'll allow you to snap it back in place. Um, but first, before we do, let's throw some vines on it. Now, the vines are intersecting with the thing. So what we're going to do is throw some vines down. Uh, you can get rid of the wall by turning it into a doorway. Get rid of those doors, uh, these, these foundations that we have lined up. And burn that, which will allow you to put the train car back into place. Um, and then so you're going to turn this back into the prison car door. Uh, snap that back into place. Burn the... Before you repair those, burn the thingy. I'll show you what I mean here. Um, but I think one thing I need to do uh, before we go further is guzzle this water. Mmm. Hydration. Have you ever drank water and realized, oh my god... You know, I almost died and didn't notice. So I want to put one last piece down. I'm going to stagger these foundations using a catwalk. Get rid of the uh, prison car again. Uh, burn these uh, leaves, their vines actually, so that, so that we can double some up. And then we're going to snap this over. Uh, throw a wall in. Snap a vine in. And... Turn that back into special paste. Make sure you burn all the vines so that the uh, train car will go back in. And at this point, I'm going to recommend putting in vines on the other side before you proceed. Uh, but I didn't do that. Instead, I thought, let's do this in a stupid way out of order. You know, so that I can show you. Anyway, this is how that looks. I think it looks really great because we still have these big wide open chunks which emulate windows. But then the vines kind of help cover it in you know so that so it's a closed thing even though it's a big gaping hole does that make any sense no now what we're gonna do is add a deck first i'm gonna slap down some brambles that i want to be poking up through the deck uh, this is like a little porch thing that we built on the side of the uh prison car and that's where uh that's where we can pile up our shit and also where we can get some score for building anything in a workshop or camp GG. Now, we're going to use roofs for that. So snap these across this way. You will need to use the slanted ones. And then flatten them down. Because using the flat ones, they're intersecting uh, with the train car. So if you flatten this one down, you can then get rid of this stuff. And then you're able to just flatten these down. I'm going to use the... Uh, What's this one called? The brown one for the deck. I think that one looks great. Has a good edge on it. And now we can pile up stuff on the deck here. Once we jiggle up and down in free cam mode at mock speed to ensure that everyone gets sick. Now, if you need to delete any of these, uh, you can just f change the ones next to it like this. And then they won't be locked up. Uh, if you don't do that, they will be locked up together. If Let's say I want to put a bramble here. Uh, you can't, as you can see, uh, put in flat ones. Um, again, they intersect with everything going on there. Uh, but if you change them into slanties, you can then slap them in, change them back down. As long as you leave one roof in, you can delete any that you need. Now again, uh, I recommended putting vines on the other side before... Uh, you put in this. If you don't, you'll have to turn these into slants and burn them all, as well as the new vines, before you can get the train car back into place. As you can see, that's not going to snap in right now. Uh, we're going to have to burn the roofs so that it'll snap back into place. That's simple enough. Just burn the shit out of them. But if you put the vines in first, you won't need to remove the train car anymore. Uh, we only need to remain remove the train car so we can get the vines in. So, uh, yeah, put the vines in all around and then put the, the roof deck in is my recommendation. And then you won't have to worry about any of that happening and you won't have to be screeching like a pterodactyl. I know you still will. I heard you in area chat last night. It's kind of shameful. At this point, what Bethesda's going to do is, for no reason, 
change how filing cabinets work and change how the, the modular sofa works and the consoles, etc. This is going to re re destroy a bunch of other stuff, including uh, how doors function, how vines function, and how uh, the, of course, the floating ability works. So what you're gonna do is just quickly make a video addressing everything that got changed, uh, raging, explaining, and showing patiently why it's important to have an item in the game that functions this way so that you can make really cool structures. Maybe think about having in your video a demonstration of why this is a bad change and why it ruins existing uh, blueprints that we have and ways of doing a lot of things are now broken. Maybe you can try to find some good in the situation, but it's very dismal indeed and now nearly impossible to get certain things uh, the way that we had them. And uh, maybe you could even uh, figure out some workarounds in the meantime and maybe take a week to do this if you don't mind since the entire thing you just built is of course patched out and there's no reason making a tutorial on it, right? Because uh, the vines, the doors, and the modular sofa are all broken and you can no longer expect people to follow a tutorial that doesn't work. Uh, once you finish doing that, uh, Bethesda will revert everything they just fucked up uh, before you release your video, and uh, then you can know that you spent a week for fucking no reason doing nothing. Uh, but, at least they changed it, so I can finish the build, hallelujah. Uh, the one thing that pisses me off about what happened, because yes, that did happen, they patched it out, I made an entire video about it, and uh, before I released the video, um, they reverted the patch. Did they say something about reverting the patch? No. Did they say anything about the situation in their Discord or on their forums or on Twitter? What do we call that now? No, they didn't. They didn't, they didn't say a fucking thing. And I don't, I'm glad they reverted the patch, obviously, because it's a horrible patch. It's a horrible thing to completely change how the functionality of one of the camp items works without talking to the community first. Hey, is this something you use or want? Oh, oh, it was? Well, we already did it. That's okay. Um, that's, that's annoying, yes. But the fact that they don't bother saying a butt-fucking thing about it is what really pisses me off. And it's alarming, because it means they might try to fix filing cabinets again. So, if you're building this tutorial and it doesn't work, uh, it's because they fucked up filing cabinets again, and that affects the sofas and the fences and the modulars and the consoles, uh, because those all function the same way. And this wolf is a metaphor for Bethesda developers trying to chew on my balls for trying to make a camp in the wasteland. Thank you so much, Bethesda. By the way, uh, my DMs are open if you want to talk to someone that actually has built in the game before and knows what things that uh, camp builders want and utilize. Then maybe before you make a sweeping patch to something that affects everyone in the game that builds, you could talk to one person that might be able to say, Hey, don't waste time and energy doing that. We don't want you to do that. It'll actually make building a lot worse and more restrictive than it already is. Thank you so much. Um, I'm here all day. You can reach me anytime. I'm actually up pretty late, usually sitting there uh, just sitting in my bed shaking and weeping because of the overwhelming regurgitated buffoonery of this world that uh, is, seems to get worse the more I log into the game. But thank you so much for reverting the patch. I, I know that you're probably just trying to make the game better, but I do think that one of the things you could do to make it better would be having some communication with the people that you're trying to make it better for. Um, that's just my point of view, and maybe it's skewed, uh, but, you know, GG's, there are some things that could be worked on right now if you're looking for something in the camp to fuck up. Uh, for example, there's a big box of smoke around the generators, um... That has been there for about three or four years, and I'm not sure if that's supposed to be uh, rhomboid in nature, but it sure it sure is. Um, anyway, uh, this is the build. I forgot that I'm actually showing this because I got so worked up there for a minute. I just need to drink some of my special juice. 
uh, for a second. Calm down. This destroyed door, if you want to put it there, uh, just good luck with that one. Uh, that's actually a legacy door from when they patched the thing, and then it was still sitting on the carpet for some reason. Anyway, I sunk down those succulents into that filing cabinet, blah, blah, blah. No one cares about that because this is on fire because we used it too much. Now, you'll see that the smoke from the generator actually is a square. I wasn't kidding. It's a quarter of the screen. It always has been. Think about changing that before you uh, change something in the game that we actually use every day. Thank you so much. Uh, now, these chairs outside, there's they're part of the story that I was trying to tell with this build, so remember that in your minds. Um, but out here, I thought would be a good place to pile up a bunch of stuff that maybe a, a person that took this train car that doesn't work anymore, and they're trying to, like, kind of you know rebuild their lives in here so there's there's mechanical pieces and there's also like uh domestic things like a lamp something that they might have salvaged from the nearby junkyard there's i love this new pile of shit that you get from the atom shop uh because usually the stuff like when you get piles of shit from the atom shop it's because of the i like it's not supposed to be shit but this one is and it functions like it's it's amazing it's going to be great for so many builds um, and I'm going to use the fuck out of it as well. Uh, to put that down, I just burned the uh, the roof and then slapped that into the ground. The spore plant, uh, there's like, you know, some, so a lot of like plants and a lot of uh, like, uh, you know, old mattresses and barrels of things. Storage, uh, the square smoke from the generator. Um, so many cool things like that just outside. And then um, I use this monitor array door. But let's go inside once I, f I fell off. Uh, so we can hop inside here. Uh, and inside, all the comforts of home. And I did uh, use this door. And I will say, you don't have to use that door if you don't want to. Um, that is a choice that was made. But the reason I used it is it gives kind of like these... 80s vibes or something i don't know i i i like how it looks but if you don't think it fits this build i recommend using the flying fortress door because that one is really rusty and it opens uh to the it opens the right way like if you would want to um switch that out instead um which i can actually show right real quick uh like the um you will have to flip it around the other way, I believe. Yeah, because this one's facing this way so that it would open in. But yeah, this one, if you use this door, uh, flip it around, of course, and then it'll open out to the left. And this one also opens wider than a lot of doors, and that is a very narrow uh, hallway thing right outside the door. And I think this one matches the build really well. I almost went with this one, um, but I wanted to use that monitor array door. Uh, because I just got it, and so like every time I get something new, I want to immediately build it in my camp. Uh, that's called barf building, um, and I don't recommend it in general, but I was able to kind of get it to fit with the vibes I wanted in the living room here, so I'm not mad at it, but you might be angry with it. And if you're angry about this store, please let me know in the comments. I don't care at all. And then over here, uh, this, I wanted to remind people that, that uh, yes, this is a train car. So, uh, these theater row seating, uh, the, they're called seating, they're not seats, they're seating. Uh, they're from the new scoreboard. I really like them a lot, and there's variations of them, which is also really cool. So you can have some that are like half flipped up and all the way flipped up and all the way down. And um, so they're the closest thing I could think of to like a train seat that we have, especially that's like old and rotten looking. And so I use this table here, the closest thing I could think of to, like, a train table. And this is the dining room, but it's also, like, what we left in the car when we were changing it into something to live in. Um, so we're kind of, like, utilizing what was already in the train. And then I have these two seats here to blend them in with the rest of the the building. So, so it's kind of, like, think about it as, like... Uh, it suggests that the seating in here continued all the way down. And so leaving those two in there, kind of like they suggest to you that there were more than those seatings, that those seatings all went all the way down uh, on both sides, perhaps. Um, and so I really like how that looks and I like how it turned out. I actually drop merged that box into that seat to get it under there. And then this is a pile of junk, which kind of helps... Uh, blend and and uh uh what's the word divide 
the the living area from the dining room. Of course, I have a lot of junk piled around here, and I love how the vines look out the window. I want to I want to point out that with that patch that came, vines were unable to be placed like they were before, um, and that that is a massive massive horrible change so i'm very glad they reverted that change um and not just because every part of this build would have been unbuildable but that would have been especially this fridge is i stole it directly from vapid valentine i'm gonna link the build where she put it in uh because the kitchen she built in the build where she built this for is the best kitchen i've ever seen it's it's so good um, go check her out. If you're not, uh, subscribed to Vapid Valentine, she's one of the best builders in this game. Uh, she's kind of weird, like, as a person, but you can get past that, in fact, and, uh, find that she's, uh, very brilliant when it comes to design, and I've actually learned a lot from her, including the fact that this Nixie lamp, if you look at it in build mode, it doesn't turn off ever again until you, like, uh, I think you can reload your camp and then it will, but that's a bug that maybe could be addressed instead of uh, nerfing the entirety of our camp builds for no reason. That's just an idea there. If you're looking for something to do on a, on a Thursday afternoon, you're like kind of bored. You're like, hey, uh, Jimmy, do you have anything for me to do? Because I, I already finished not working on the lighting in the game and uh, we didn't finish uh, fast traveling yet. So is there anything for me to do? Because I, frankly, I have absolutely nothing to do. Um, I haven't even finished the social menu bug, because I'm not working on that, so, uh, I can't think of what to do, uh, like, I got really tired of not fixing the social menu bug, of not fixing fast traveling, so maybe there's something we can do that'll make people, how about instead of happy, angry, and sad, can we do that? Because I think people play video games, personally, in my opinion, to get pissed off, that's why, that's why you guys are here and enjoying this video, and, uh, by the way, if you're enjoying the video, uh, sorry about that. I think you need therapy, but also consider subscribing. It really helps the algorithm out, especially when you're an idiot and you never upload. Um, and, uh, so, um, and I'm an idiot and never upload. So, like, it'll help it out. And if you, uh, click on that bell, that means you'll get a notification when I upload allegedly. But notifications on YouTube never work for some reason. I'm not sure why. But if you hit that bell, YouTube still thinks that you love me. So then they say, hey, you are loved. And then they show my video to more people. And that's really uh, validating for me. And as someone that never got validation as a child, wow, who needs therapy when you can make these builds on YouTube? That's what I'm saying. So um, I did sink that lamp down into that thing, and I could have been talking about that while I was running around looking at it pointedly. But instead, I was talking about stuff that was bullshit and made no sense. So that's good. Great, great tutorial. Hope you followed everything I said so far word to word uh, that word to word is not something people say but i love how this massive hole with the vines over it kind of works as like a massive bay window above the kitchen and then of course by the dining room where you're sitting here i think it looks really great on the inside and i really love how this turned out i know that i haven't been uploading a lot recently um and that's because i don't want to put out content that feels like shit because i don't care about it because you and I both know how that feels when we're playing this game. Um, and I'm not going to be someone that is um, putting out garbage. Like, if I don't love what I'm doing, I'm, I don't want to do it, frankly. So, um, when, that means when you do see a build video, uh, I enjoyed doing it. I loved uh, how it turned out. Um, I'm happy to play the game. What? Uh, so, I hope that makes up for it somewhat. And uh, if you guys really miss me that much... Uh, follow me on Twitch. I do stream frequently. You can come hang out anytime you want, except for when I'm not live, which of course is kind of awkward. Also, if you're not in the Discord already, uh, the link for that will be in the description as well. I always post in there when I when I uh, post an upload and when I go live on Twitch, uh, so it's easy to keep up with stuff. Sometimes we do uh, community events and things like that. Um, but as you can see, everything is built on top of that modular sofa. And then the modular sofa, because it has the same mechanics as the filing cabinet, is allowed to float. And with that train car being destroyed, all of this stuff would be gone. It would be empty in there if it wasn't for the floating uh, chair. We wouldn't be able to have those big open windows on the sides and the really rustic looking interior would be really closed in. So I think it's a massive, massive thing that we're able to do. 
I'm really happy about that build mechanic, and I hope that Bethesda doesn't try again to patch it out. If you're watching this, anyone that has anything to do with any of those things, please, I'm begging you, I'll do anything. I'm on my hands and knees. Uh, please, just just let it be in the game. I, I didn't do anything to you, except for that one thing I said in that one video. I want to give a massive shout out to my patrons and channel members for your support. I can't tell you how much it means that you guys are supporting me still, even when I've been uh, uploading so infrequently. Um, it really means a lot. And uh, so thank you so much for that. Um, if you're interested in, me, uh, interested in supporting me in that way, the link for my Patreon is in the Discord. Um, I haven't been uploading very frequently, but I have been streaming a lot on Twitch. Um, I am making content, just maybe not the same kind of content you might be used to over on YouTube, but I'm not done with YouTube videos, obviously, that's what this one means. Um, and again, I just want to say uh, thank you guys so much for sticking along, sticking along with me, that made sense, uh, as I'm figuring out what I'm doing with my life, because I'm a weird person that doesn't have everything figured out, that's kind of one of those special things about me, is I'm not perfect, so uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out, I hope you enjoyed the video and the therapy session, and uh, we'll see you in the next video, I guess, is what they say at the end of the videos that are on YouTube, and uh, that's what this one is. It's on YouTube. It's a video. I'm waving for so long. Is it going to stop soon? I really hope it stops soon.